Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in the Stellaris Worlds. We're having some financial issues, somehow I managed to spend my like 700 credits that I had stored up. Um, over here, I believe we are currently working on some energy upgrades right now. Construction complete. Trying to build mining stations, whatever we can do to get our income complete. up. We have Empire minus 28%. What? Oh, right, because we have bankruptcy. That's why. So we have negative income right now. Providing us with a penalty. To minerals. Okay. Nothing to be concerned about there. We should still be turning these minerals. We can store ten times as much as what we have right now. More than that. We should be turning these minerals into more money. So, wherever possible, let's upgrade income. There's no money being made on this planet at all, is there? I mean, there's this, but we can't upgrade it. It's already at 12 out of 12, and I can't clear any of the blockers, so I suppose for the moment we could find, like, one of the really cheap food locations. We've got a four food location there. We could just replace this with a power plant. Power hub, in fact. It seems fine. And then over here, and actually, hold on, I gotta go back, because that means that if you're gonna be working power, you shouldn't be a slave. Here. You're unhappy. What are you so unhappy about? Too many slaves on this planet, that's right. And it's so funny. They're much, much, much happier being slaves than than not being slaves. Again, same situation. No blockers that I can remove. I think we build a power hub. Hold on. That was a bad idea because that one had nothing. Cancel. Wait, nope, never mind, there was nothing being built there anyway. Hmm. And leave it alone for now. Construction complete. Well, we very nearly solved the problem. Back to positive, at least. Plenty of money coming in. System we do have complete. quite a few factions. The Thralls have current faction support of 100%. The Thralls will never have any effects. These are the slaves of our own species. Okay? No one else cares about anything. Good. Everything's fine. Let's not worry Debris about them. Analyzed. You should probably come home.
positive positive income finally are the sectors the real question is are the sectors doing anything i mean i'm taxing them very heavily right now but are they doing anything with what they have and these guys have a fairly sizable stockpile and they're gaining six per month even though i'm taxing them at 75 percent so could you, found. could you go ahead and, and like spend those resources on stuff? Construction complete. I guess, since we lack influence, we should come home with these construction fleets. We've already kind of built everywhere. With these sectors, it's hard to actually see my space. Is this... It does say, yeah, it does lie within our space. Just move here for now. Hold on, there's no point in moving there if it's not surveyed. Construction complete. And scientist has died. One of the science officers. Fortunately, we do have enough that we can hire another leader right away. Voidcraft. Experience gain. Sure. Experience gain sounds fine. This planet turned out to be huge and awesome. We should have a colony ship. Or did we already use them all? I wonder if one of the colony ships got completed on that planet that I accidentally gave away. Was it Chibin up here? No ships in orbit. Oh. Well, we have the minerals. Closest spaceport. Let's just build a. I just spent all my resources doing that, didn't I? I want to colonize that other 24 pop planet over there. Colony established. Okay. My colony? Or someone else's colony? Because I didn't see it pop up. Cool. Nice, nice science little job that he did there. Alright, let's start clearing out some of the bad guys. Alright, go here first. Situation log updated. Alien species specimen procurement is a big, big job. So, cost... So, resume the process of terraforming this planet from an arctic world which we're very happy living in it says habitability 60 percent but it's actually i think 80 percent if we actually look at it from here habitability 80 percent yeah so there's like really barely any benefit to doing that on the other hand we could dismantle it in three months 
sure. Do it anyway, let's just see what happens. System survey complete. You got scared by a few mining drones? Or no, we did. I'm just gonna kill those guys. Shall we attack someone? Okay, that truce has gotta be up soon, right? We also have an available governor. How'd that happen? So I think we find the largest the the population we have 18 people here we could we could put him in charge you know what happened it was probably when i gave away the fifth planet that's what happened so we'll put him in charge of the blight here so that he affects 18 people and three planets this is six planets special project complete technology gained terrestrial sculpting research complete wow Unlocks terraforming station. Allows our construction ships to build a terraforming station in a planet's orbit. Reveals the resources of terraforming liquids and terraforming gases. Cool. That's, uh, it's pretty good. Let's, um, let's just start working on the blockers. Because I know... Actually, hold on. We're not done. We're still working on something. It was just a random research that we got. So terraforming platforms. A molten world. This planet has not been surveyed. This planet cannot be terraformed. So molten worlds cannot be. I'm assuming does it have to be like a... What if we did one of these ones? Like a continental world? All we would have to do is survey it. Okay, let's, let's just see. A planet that we have surveyed that is not the right type. Gotta be able to find one somewhere, right? Frozen world. Cannot be terraformed. I'm assuming gas giants can't be terraformed. There we go, a barren world. What? Okay. None of them can be terraformed. Just don't trust the game. Don't. Fleet <laughs> engaged. <laughs> Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Colony established. Situation log updated. I do have two bits of terraforming gases already, but I don't really understand how to use them. Huh. System survey complete. Well, income has solved itself. Hostile fleet engaged. Minerals are great. Hostile fleet engaged. There doesn't seem to be like any formation setup we can try to do. 
Situation log updated. Get you working. Clear out some more of this space. The good news is that our frontiers have expanded Colony quite well. I'm I'm thinking that they are establishing colonies for me. They must be, right? Because I'm not establishing colonies. What have you been doing? System survey complete. Construction complete. We have a colony ship here, whose job was to go to here. We pick a two food, preferably toward the center. No two food toward the center, so therefore we go here. And I'm thinking maybe, um... Are there any other... I mean, we can keep on upgrading this spaceport, just for the sake of having it. We build another Corvette assembly yard here. And then here we could queue up some more Corvettes. Simply because we have the force limit and, uh, I don't really see any reason not to. Right, oh right, right, right. The thing I was gonna check on was the truce timer with what's-his-face. The guy that was close to us, you. Communicate, we can declare war on you again. Okay, so do you have any allies? You do not. Any reason to, uh, I think we just vassalize this guy, right? Like that makes more sense, doesn't it? Come in here. Just blow some stuff up. How quickly can we respond? Look at that, we're already here. Holy crap, are we fast. Hostile fleet engaged. Uh, destroying his mining outposts is probably a detected. bad idea. Log updated. Actually. As is destroying his construction ships. So, he's got what looks like two planets. We have low intel there. We presume, yeah, he's got a fleet here. Let's just, let's just go to his capital then. Let's ignore the, the outpost. Blockade his capital. He's got two planets in this system. Hostile fleet detected. This is his capital world, so we can probably get the most out of it. What if we just go invade his capital? And see if we can just force vassalize him and keep the rest of his infrastructure in in, in shape so that eventually he uh, is more useful to us. And also, in the meantime, is our other vassal these guys are... We are looking for... 
the Denutu Denutura. Still hate us. We're still disloyal. But we're working on it. Science ship under attack. Well, that's no good. Unfortunately, 6.7%. Wow. That's what happens. That's what happens when you tell them to just, you know. Situation log updated. When you just tell them to go off and explore places that are unknown without sending over a military first. Anomaly found. They can get uh, they can get wrecked. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. I know you have a fleet, but we're gonna work on these this planetary fortification here. We have nine potential landing guys. All pops gain the drought modifier. Happiness money to Obviously we just spend some credits. That seems like a pretty straightforward uh, option there. So I think invading his capital is gonna be enough, but if not, there's another planet in the system that we'll go do. Construction complete. In the meantime, we have more minerals, so let's build more. More ships. They're just corvettes, but they can pierce armor really well. Like, we could still get torn apart by somebody that uses shields or something. We're waiting on technology that's going to allow us Research to do that. Complete. Hey, we, speaking of the devil, just upgraded our deflectors of our own. The shard thrower. We don't need that. Plasma accelerator pierces armor. We already can do that. Is it better than what we have right now? Well, let's compare the small to the, the one that we have. So we've got range 20, 2.45 damage, 82% accuracy with a cost of 10. Versus, on the Corvette, range 20, 2.0, it, it's the exact same thing. So there's no point in doing the Plasma Accelerator. We could continue going down Shield Tech. I think Physics Lab makes more sense, I guess. Meanwhile, since we did get those deflectors upgraded, let's go upgrade our defense platform. And the Corvette. What's wrong? I can see why it did it, but no. I'd rather have slightly reduced deflectors. In favor of being able to do that. <laughs> so how about that orbital bombardment there? Research complete. Dude. Hey, we can build destroyers now. Cool. Spaceport level five. I mean we should probably unlock defense stations <laughs> at some point. Right? We're definitely falling behind. Like, in the, the multiplayer campaign I, I did in London, I got up over 100 and everything. But we've got a hugely powerful military, comparatively speaking. Compared to what I had before, even though... Fleet detected. Even though it's just generals. Or, sorry, just corvettes. These guys are in this sector here. So 
he's got a tiny little army here and 300 army there. Let's split the navy. Put the other leader in charge. And go take care of that. System survey complete. Construction complete. Okay, uh, why don't you just go, you know, build, build all the things here. Seems like an easy way to do it. Meanwhile, we're looking for this army here. It was about to arrive there. To take care of that. We know from experience that you are using small plasma throwers. You have armor penetration, but we don't use armor really either. You don't have any advanced computed weapons. You don't have any shields. And you use regular hyperdrive. So we should be fine. It's not our best general. Situation log updated. Let's invade. Let's have you head down complete. to here. Colony established. Hostile fleet detected. They're over our planet limit again. Uh, so that means that one of you. Way the hell down here. This just needs to be a new sector. We'll call it the distant blight. And then we will give the distant blight some money and minerals to work on stuff. Speaking of money and minerals, how are the rest looking? You could use some money. They all seem to be doing fine. Okay, um, we're gonna have to wrap this episode up here pretty quick, but I think I'd like to end this war first. How goes our invasion? It's about done. Fleet engaged. Enemy planet secured. That gives us 61 war score. It's probably not gonna be enough. Negative 14. Before we deploy that army, let's just leave it there to defend. Complete. Situation updated. We've encountered some new aliens. Blowing the crap out of this spaceport. Now we'll start blockading this thing, and that actually puts us at 86 war score just by having the blockade in place. So he'll probably accept vassalization. He'll accept white peace. I hate how it does that. It should remember. Here we go. War's over. Combine. And my navy. And go home to Elexrin. And the armies. We'll bring the control group that got lost back over to upgrade to the latest design and that, whatever we can do there. And uh, the very last thing we'll do before we take a break then is we will go talk to what remains. I mean, we did, you know, commit genocide on you guys before. Oops. But let's uh, establish an embassy. See if we can make you like us maybe a little bit more.
I mean, they're a little bit upset about threat, you know, genocidal and all that stuff, but, you know, it is what it is. We're space mushrooms, what do you expect? Um, do the other guys at least like us a little bit? Nope, still disloyal. Genocidal. <laughs> it is what it is, if we can get them positive, eventually you can integrate them. So, that could, that could be interesting. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.